Hello, my name is Seth. Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about route distribution between OSPF and EIGRP. So, you'll probably remember this diagram if you see my previous videos on EIGRP. So, what we've done is we've introduced OSPF on router 3. And you see these loopback addresses on router 4. And you see all these loopback addresses on router 3. So we're going to do route distribution, OSPF route distribution into EIGRP. And all these routes distribute those into OSPF and vice versa. So I have everything already configured. Okay, so if I come back to my router 1, show IP interface brief. So right now I have the loopback addresses and the fast ethernet serial connection all set up. Router 2, show IP interface brief. <clears throat> okay, and if I say show IP EIGRP neighbor, we have and from router 2 we have two neighbor adjacencies one going to router 1 via 12.1 and the other one going to router 2 via fast ethernet going to 12.23.2 okay if I come to router 3 show IP EIGRP neighbor same thing and if I say show IP interface brief I have loopback address is already set up on my interface and I did a, I these are all the same configuration from my previous videos so if I ping from router 3 router 1 uh, 10.10.10.1 .10 everything is good show IP route show IP route can spell this R O U T E. You can see that we have all of these directly connected interfaces, and then we have the learned routes from EIGRP. Okay, so far so good. So, what we're doing now is we're introducing OSPF. So, we need to configure OSPF on router 4 and on router 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll move this down a bit. Okay, so right now we're on router 3. Fast Ethernet 2 slash 0 is connected is within the OSPF area. So let's go ahead and uh, verify that. If I have the IP address of 192.168.2.1 on here, this will be 2.1, this will be 2.2. So I can say show IP interface brief and I have the IP already configured. There you go, fast Ethernet 2. Okay, so fast Ethernet 2, I have 2.1. Perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and enable OSPF on here. So we'll go into config mode and we'll type router OSPF 1 and we'll type network 192.168.2.0.0.0.0.255 okay whoops area 0 okay so I'll come jump onto router 4 and if I say show IP so if when I do show IP route right now I have all the directly connected routes here these are all the loopback addresses 4.4.4.4, 192.168.100.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192.168.200.1, 192
and right now show IP interface brief I have my two loopback address three loopback addresses and the fast ethernet 00 which is 192.168.2.2 IP address so let's go ahead and go into config mode and we're going to type router OSPF1 router OSPF1 and we're going to say router ID 4.4.4.4 and we're going to say network 192.168.2.0.0.0.255 that's area 0 and you should see an adjacency form there you go we have a neighbor adjacency with router 3 and now we're also at network 192.168.100.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
my MTU is 1500, my bandwidth is 100,000, which is 100 megabits, right? Delay is 100, reliability is 25 out of 25, meaning it's good, and load is 1 out of 25, meaning that's good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take these and input this into our OSPF redistribution. Okay, so redistribute OSPF1 metric, and here we're going to type 100,000 for the bandwidth. We're going to take we're going to 100 and divide it by 10, so 10 for the user um, for the delay, and then 255 for reliability, 1 out of 255 for 1 out of 255 for load and lastly MTU was 1500 we're gonna hit enter router 2 show IP route and if you notice on router 2 and on router 1 show IP route we've we distributed OSPF routes into our EIGRP network on router 2 and th uh, router 1 and 2. So see EX, EX stands for external EIGRP route. And so we have, we learned 200.1 via interface 13.2 and we learned 2.0 and we learned 100.1 all of the OSPF routes okay I'm going to go back to router 3 and now we're going to redistribute EIGRP routes into OSPF so we're going to type in config t router OSPF 1 redistribute EIGRP 100 metric type and I just call it one increment it increments the metric type by one subnets we're gonna hit exit and if I come to my router 4 now and type show IP route see right now there's nothing here but if I hit show IP route I should have now external there we go EIGRP routes now or OSPF, external OSPF routes, which is 172, 16.23.0, 12.0, 13.0, these are all the subnets, and all the leadback addresses on router 1, or uh, router 3. Okay, let me see if this works. Ping 10.10.60.1, and I'm able to ping it. If I say ping 172, dot 16 dot 12 dot 1 and I'm able to ping I'll come back to router 2 let's see if I can ping OSPF ping 192.168.100.1 and I'm able to ping back and forth we redistributed OSPF routes in, routes into EIGRP and vice versa and EIGRP routes into OSPF Right, so from router 2, show IP route. So the EX is external EIGRP routes. And the E1 is external OSPF routes. So we've successfully redistributed routes into this network back and forth. Now if I say show IP route, if you notice, right now we have all of the interfaces from router 3 coming into router 4 as unsummarized. So let's go ahead and summarize this. So let's go ahead and summarize our routes. Interface FA.
interface FA0 slash interface range FA0 slash 0, comma, FA fast ethernet one slash zero we're gonna summarize the ten 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 all of these holding to OSPF and EIGRP and fast ethernet two slash zero I'm gonna type IP summary address EIGRP 100 and 10.10.0.0.255.255.0.0. And let's hit enter. Oh, so you can see it reestablished the adjacencies. So if I go back to router 2, all of these should be summarized now. So show IP route. Sure enough. They're summarized now. We summarized them for so okay, so we summarized them for our EIGRP network. Let's summarize it for OSPF. I'm gonna go back to router three and I'm gonna type in router OSPF one. We're gonna type summary address and we're gonna type ten dot ten dot zero dot zero two fifty five two fifty five zero dot zero and we're gonna hit enter. I'm going to hit exit here, come back to router 4, so all of these should be summarized as well now within OSPF. Show IP route, show IP route, and there we go, everything is, sum everything is summarized now. And everything should still work now, ping should still work, ping 10.10.60.1. This is from OSPF now, we're pinging these loopback addresses here. Ping 10.10.10.1. I'll just ping router 1. And 20.1. Success, we're able to ping from router 4, which, in, which is an OSPF, all the routes in EIGRP. If I come back to router 1, I can say ping. 10.10.100.1, which is a new back address here. From router 1, I'm able to ping. All right, so what did we learn? We learned in this video how to introduce an external routing protocol and inj inject that into EIGRP. In this case, we introduced OSPF, and the routes from OSPF we injected into EIGRP, and vice versa. And we demonstrated that we can ping going back and forth. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day.